What we know about email productivity is going to change drastically in the next few years. Everything we've learned about managing our Gmail and Outlook is probably going to be a thing of the past. Email is getting a lot smarter. It's going to do more things for you and it's going to help you to be a better individual, professional and team. So we're going to unpack some of the AI trends that are going to affect this market. We're going to look at email administration, email efficiency, and email errands as all key players in helping you to rewrite how you use your inbox every single day. And it's going to be a really important one if you use email in the workplace. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Superhuman. You can find out more about them below, but I've been using Superhuman for over four years now. It's my go-to tool and it's used by startups and large organizations around the world who absolutely love it for saving them time in the week. Superhuman saves an individual four hours in a single week, helps them manage their inbox twice as fast and can help you reply faster in your inbox. We're going to be using Superhuman as examples in this video as they have some amazing AI features more recently launched that match well to these AI trends. So the first topic on our list is something called email administration. Administration and productivity, something that is almost goes two and two. I would say around 40% of our days, uh, maybe a few years ago, were typically around managing and organizing and administrating the software that we use. Think of any productivity app, a to-do list app. You're organizing what tasks you have, where they go, and even the project they belong to. All of those things are administrative workload that don't actually impact your work that you're doing. And in email, the AI trend that will happen is organizing your email in the most effective way. Now, email is going to get better. It's going to be trained more on the data that's provided. And using AI will actually help to refine what is truly important and what is not so important, but doing it in an effective way for you. Now, one of those ways that email is changing is something called auto labels. And Superhuman have recently released this feature where it allows you to tag an email with an auto label. And any email coming in can either be auto archived or split into another inbox. This can be an incredibly useful way to automatically organize your inbox, but will also allowing you control about where they go in the inbox. So how is that going to impact my inbox? Well, think about all of the things that you do that administrates your inbox, adding labels manually, or maybe even setting up rules and triggers and folders is going to be a thing of the past. Artificial intelligence will likely do all of that for you and Superhuman is doing that with auto labels. So next up is email AI efficiency. These are things that you do every single day that you don't know you're doing in the background. So for example, they may be organizing your email into folders with maybe like follow-up or things like that and maybe even setting reminders with functions like snooze that will help you to make sure that you respond to that person in time. These are small little things that we do that we rely on ourselves for. So if we don't do it, we will fail in our mission because they will not come back to us and that efficiency will be lost that AI can potentially resolve. So email inboxes will begin to start being much more aware of what you need at the right time. So your inbox could look dramatically different from one day to the next day. Superhuman has a feature like this and it's called auto reminders. I've been using auto reminders for the last couple of weeks and it's so strange to get used to an AI doing this where I can send an email now knowing that that email is going to come back to me at the right time in order for me to respond at the correct time, which is an incredibly powerful tool because it reduces any friction to me actually auto administrating my inbox. This new auto reminders features is a great one if you're looking to try and do that. So how is this going to affect me? If you have small uh, process led stuff inside of your inbox that rely on you to remember or you to have to set the function to it, that will dramatically change in the future. So now on to probably the biggest part of the AI trend, and that will be errands. All of the productivity apps that you know and love will 
will be doing errands for you, whether you like it or not. The concept of errands is essentially a more productive benefit to you than actually administrating your work. So think of these things in a to-do list app, like I wanna find out the best place to eat in Seattle you'll be able to essentially add that to your to-do list and it can go off and do things for you and come back. And the same will apply to email, but in the sense of replying to emails or at least helping you to prepare for those emails to be replied to. So in this example, Superhuman have a feature called Auto Draft, which helps starting to respond to your email, understanding the tone and voice of previous emails you've sent to that person to help you get at least 75% of the way there. You'll be able to monitor the email and improve it and then be able to send it a lot faster. And these coincide with the auto reminders, which is a helpful feature. So I've been using this feature for the last couple of weeks and it's been helpful to get me started on the email and get me rolling so that I can change a few things and send it straight away. Superhuman will want to make this even better by being able to pull some of the knowledge from your help desk, documents, or whatever it may be in terms of resources to help understand the context of the conversation in best capacity. They also are working on a feature called Workflow, which will help you to automatically set this up and to dramatically change the way that you use your inbox. By doing smaller things that may take you between 15 to 30 minutes, that is all based on template-based errands and will allow you to have that human touch in the middle to make sure that you've got the accuracy that you need. So how will this affect you? Well, if you think about it, your email will start to do things for you and this may change the landscape even further. Will we potentially get emails corresponding with emails and you both setting prompts of objectives that you want to achieve for both of those emails? The landscape looks really exciting, but the concept here that's important is email will start to do things for you and allow you to save time on those micro aspects of your day, helping you to send more emails or correspond with more people more effectively. So let's summarize these three AI trends. The first is that administration is going to be diluted. You won't have to organize and structure your inbox like you did before. The second is efficiency. Anything that you do to remind yourself or to potentially prepare yourself is going to be done for you with reminders and other such technologies that index your inbox. And the third is errands. These will be agents and agentic workflows that will save you a bunch of time for things you already do. So those were some of the biggest trends that I see in artificial intelligence, particularly with email, that I think that you need to be aware of. I would like to thank Superhuman for sponsoring today's video. You can find those guys linked in the description. I've been using them for over four years and I really love the application. It helps me to manage my inbox faster, more effectively, and I spend a lot more time in emails these days. So I think anyone that spends above two hours hours in your inbox will save the time that they put into it. So thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and check out more videos about email software that we have there. You can jump over to toolfinder.co if you're interested and a big, big thank you for stopping by. Please do like the video if you found it helpful in emerging AI trends and we'll be back with more topics like this soon. Thanks very much and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio for now.